anyone is vulnerable to having a fall. If you have a fall when you're on your own, then it is particularly hazardous. However, there are things you can do to help yourself, and doing the right thing after a fall can reduce your risk of injury, get help to you more quickly, and improve your long-term recovery. Also, planning ahead for the possibility of a fall will give you the confidence that you can cope with the situation if it were to happen. This short video demonstrates the most important things to do. Imagine you have just had a fall. If you are still able to move without too much pain, then this is a simple step-by-step -step method you can use to get up. First, carefully ease yourself up onto your elbows. Then onto your hands and knees. Crawl towards the nearest chair that's going to be solid enough to climb onto. If you are near the stairs, then you can use them. Or if you're in the bedroom, then you can use the bed, as long as it won't move. Place both arms up on the chair. Move forward and get your knees in as close as you can to the base of the chair. This makes it easier to stand up. Bring one leg up, whichever is easiest, to get your foot flat on the floor. Make sure your other knee is up level with it. Now, pushing down on the chair and the leg that you have upright, ease yourself to a standing position. Then carefully turn around, sit in the chair and rest. If you find it hard to crawl, then you can bottom shuffle instead. It might also be easier to get up by using the stairs or a low stable stool in this case. Even though you have managed to get up, it's still important to inform your doctor or health worker that you have had a fall. If you have fallen more seriously, and can't get up at all, then there are still things you can do to help. Firstly, if you have an emergency call pendant alarm, or pull cords, then use it immediately. Or use your telephone if it's within reach. You can then be reassured that help is on its way. If you can't get up, then it's important to stay comfortable and warm. Try and reach any nearby items that could help, such as bedding, pillows or cushions. If you have a stick within reach, then this can be used to reach items. Anything you could cover yourself with can help here, such as coats, other clothing or towels. You can fold items up to act as a pillow. If you can't raise the alarm, for instance if you don't have a pendant alarm or it's not with you, then the next important thing is to call for help. 
You can shout if you think someone would be near enough to hear, such as a neighbour, or if someone calls at the door like the postman. Otherwise, you can use a stick to attract attention. You can bang on the floor, furniture, walls, doors or water pipes. You should change position occasionally to avoid getting pressure sores and move your joints to avoid stiffness and help circulation. Roll away from any damp areas if your bladder lets go. But above all, stay calm and keep yourself comfortable. It is a good idea to plan beforehand what you would do if you have a fall and how you would get help. Decide how you would get help and have more than one method ready. Discuss the plan with the people who could help, such as your family and neighbours. Keep items placed around the house that could be helpful and where they would be within reach from the floor. For example, blankets, cushions or pillows, a walking stick, a telephone with an emergency contact number, and, if you have them, ensure that your alarm cords reach almost to the floor. Always report any fall to your doctor or health professional as it's important to find the cause of a fall to help prevent it happening again. It is well worth taking some time to think about what you would do if you had a fall, as doing the right things can be a major contribution to making a full recovery.